Zweetieans, welcome back to Zweetieville. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Zweetieville. I am Sweetie Pie, and today we are back with a build with me. Um, this is going to be just a little bit, um, normally you'll see me build it, but I have some builds that I was able to do over my time off in the hospital and stuff like that. So I'm going to be showcasing them and putting them up on my channel. The first one is, yes, I know it's a little late. But, um, let me see here, I named it Averest Acres Holiday Home. So, this is a nice little home for you to come to with your family, and they can all gather and enjoy a lovely Christmas holiday, all under one roof in a little, like, cottage. i um, show you the outside here. I did use the terrain, and it is all 100% traversable. So you are tucked away in this little corner of heaven. You have some outside stuff. You have grills. Um, I do have this home down in, um, let me double check. For the life of me, I forgot. Yes, Windenburg here on the 40 by 30 lot right here. So we'll go back in now. Do, 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 do. Loading screens, gotta love them. Okay. And I wanted to, you know, play with the terrain tools because, you know, I'm not the best with them. But yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. Um, you got a little slice of heaven here when it snows oh my god it's so beautiful um you can put this house anywhere you would like and it'd be more than good here it does have the walkout basement as you can see here so that is another wonderful thing with all of this it does have the wrap around porch from the front here okay. Got all your wood for your wood burning fireplace here. Got a sliding deck here to come out onto your balcony patio. And it does continue all the way around here. Get around all the trees. Um, all the way around here to the front here as well. So it is a nice little cottage home. You can come all the way in. And I'll get you a little closer for you guys if I can get the camera to stop jinking around here all right that's what the thing looks like so let's go on in and i'll give you guys a little tour i'm not the best at this and of course it's going to do that on me let me get down here there we go now it shouldn't and we go through the sparkly front door here because you know who would not be invited into that I mean oh my gosh it is so cute right and then you come in and you are greeted with this gorgeous home oh let's get out of the walls and it is an all-in-one so you have your living room area your kitchen area and your dining area all tucked in there and stuff um, so for the living area it looks like this here so you got your nice little living area your entry area here all decked out with your coats and stuff your door you got your fireplace you can light you got the Christmas tree that yes is all Christmas seed up over here and waiting for the holidays to start look at that beauty oh couldn't want anything else if i could get out of the windows and the walls and you can see oh my goodness i'm so sorry you can see the dining room tucked over into here you have your doorway here which is 100 percent usable i do suggest you lay this down with uh, move objects on or you will get a lot of things in your inventory I do have things moved quite a bit, but for a holiday home, I mean, the clutter 
was really needed. So here is this with the old time railing. Um, they put some holly on it. You have your little table ready for all of it. We got some decor out on the cabinet ready for all that holiday cooking. Dishes are done, just ready. We got pans sitting on the stove, just waiting to be cooked in. Oh, my heart of delight. Love the holidays. So here is a, another look from this angle of the living room. Should be plenty of seating. As you will see, there is no TV up here in this. This house is designed to enjoy your family with. Through this door right here, you have a small little ensuite. And if I can get you a better picture of it than that, I mean, there we go. I'll just give you an overview. It does have the nice big light in there. Um, it, it's very cozy. I did use elements of the brick from the outside on the inside for some highlights. We have some tiled floors, if you didn't notice, with the trim on the inside of it. So it looks like the floor is transitioning for you. Um, also did that same technique in here into the kitchen as well. So it looks really, really nice. Then we have the staircase area here. Looks like this. You can tell there are children here. We got all the paper mache everywhere that they've been making for the holidays. So we can go up or down. Let's go on up and I will show you what you will find here. If I can get my butt into there. That is not the button I wanted. Okay. I'm going to have to take it down to go in. Sorry. This is an attic area. So sorry, all the walls are not up in order to get in here. Um, I've been playing Planet Up Zoo a little too much and I forgot my hotkey in order to zoom in here. So, But it is, you know, quite packed full of things as you can see. We have some Halloween decorations over here with some books. We got some bookshelves over here. We have grandpa's desk and computer area over here that they work on. We got the bookshelf. We have all of the home clutter um, from the different holidays. This might be a home that, you know, your family gets together and have the holidays here with and they have all their extra stuff just sitting up here, old computers and stuff, file cabinets with everything they have in it, old cameras, books, other holiday stuff, you know, just the works. It's all up here. So that is your open attic area down here. So just a little like have a work getaway. I kind of thought, you know, grandpa's like little study or maybe dad is a businessman and he needs to do a little work while he's here this is he can come and do it and now we're going to continue to go all the way down and we are downstairs now if i can get my camera oh my gosh i wish the controls were the same for playing up zoo to here and this is the livelihood of the home so the tv is down here because you've got your little like family room area here you got the fake fireplace in this one don't want those little kitties to get injured we got a u seating here they can sit here and watch tv play video games they have the console um they could play house they can draw this is their corner where their toys are tucked and all their paper mache making is here i mean the house is just delightfully full of everything that you would need for the holidays they have gaming systems and toys and they have a toy basket they got their books they you know the house is decorated and this is a sliding glass door to go outside so you have that you have you know your little area here to control all of your heat and take your jackets on and off as the little kiddos are running in and out 
And of course, the stickers on the doors again, so they don't run into the doors. They realize glass is there. So there are quite a bit of doors here. Like I said, this is designed to be a family home, um, so everyone could come together under one roof. So if you go in this door here that I have tucked in this corner here, this will bring you into the boy room. So I'm going to give you an upper view because once again, my control handling is like the best, right? So you have like a kid, a teenager, whatever you want here. He's got his own like posters. He's got like a little desk over here, a bookshelf area here as well. And, you know, maybe you have a toddler in your room, your family. So they got like a little toddler area over here and stuff. So they were sharing rooms over here. They got all their little extra blankets in case they're cold tucked away here for them. You know, it's a nice cozy little room. Nothing huge, but you don't want them spending forever in their room. So, you know. You give them a tiny room and a big playroom and they'll stay their time right there, right? So in this room here is the room for the young ladies of your family. So once again, I'll give you an overview here. So this will house two children in this room as well. So you can come here with a very packed family of four kids. So it is designed with family in mind. It's got all their knickknacks, their toys. They're like little closet area, little place for them to do their hair and makeup for the holidays and look their best. And of course, what would a holiday house be without some more holiday decorations in this room as well. Um, now, tucked right here by the bookcase and the little wrap freezer bunny in this door here, whoa, wrong direction, would be your shared bathroom so once again i pulled in elements of the brick from the outside they have the nice little lights um they have a toilet for the baby um little toys here and there for everyone to play with in the tubs their towels all of that good stuff all right here in this little bathroom to share so nothing amazing but nice then that leaves us with these two little doors here so we'll go in this one here first this one is the parents room here man my controls and it's just a nice quaint warm room for the parents to get away enjoy a little solitude if they should want relax read a book before bed a little extra storage with their blankets and everything a small closet area as well here and stuff um, and then they have their en suite bathroom whoops showing you the other room without wanting to get you there first um, little en suite bathroom which is nice neat great they have their extra little towels and stuff all stored away all their extra things they would need for theirs just uh, cuteness in a basket then if you come out into the family room again and go through this last but not least door over here which i already showed you part of you have grammy and grandpa's room so they have quite an old-fashioned room with some clutter some pictures um they do have the laundry area shoved in the back corner of their room you know, um, grandma has room to soak clothes for those little toddlers that get into everything. They have, you know, their clothes already getting ready to be put up. They have, you know, little toys throughout here and stuff. Um, just the quilted bed, the old time pictures. They put a tree in the corner because, you know, they like it. It's one of those um, hanging wall trees that are only a half tree. They have their little dresser over here. But yeah, I just, this feels grandma e, grandpa e cozy. Maybe this is their holiday home and, you know, they're sharing it with their family. Or maybe it's a log home you guys come to. Um, I'll give you guys the overall view now. So 
This is the overall view of the downstairs. Let's see if I can get in just a little closer without cutting any of it off. Um, that looks like about as good as I can get. Um, like I said, you come down, you have the little area, living room, out to the backyard, parent room, grandparent room, bathroom, boy room, girl room, shared bathroom. Then for the upstairs, this is your overall view of this one. You got your entry, your living room, present area, kit dining area, little kitchen corner, and your all um your powder room here for all to share and then once again I'll show you up here which is just your little hidey corner um office nook area over here none of the rest of this is accessible it's cut off just this one area and stuff and then of course your overall home look from there into your backyard out at the back you do have you know a heater you have a grill you have the picnic table you have the bonfire area where you can do some s'mores and stuff at night horseshoes for the adults while the little children are playing on the monkey bars and the swings you know play till your heart's delight i hope you guys do enjoy the holiday home i know it's a little bit past the holidays for us but you know in the sims holidays come all the time and you may need that nice quaint home i do suggest that you have move objects turned on when you put this home because i did clutter it up to like the maximum my clutter skills in this was like on point so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video once again you all know what to do if you did please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as that always helps me out a uh, quite a bit and share it with any friends or family you think will enjoy it as much as you have and until next time all my zweetians out there have a zweety-licious day bye guys